this one by how much if you guys are feeling spicy enough to give us that prediction. But that said, let's get into this game. It will be the double A grand finals between the Jaguars and the Avalanche. I will update all the titles and stuff for you guys, but let's get into it. A best of seven here at the RLPC. And Max, you know, do you ex does the Avalanche have to win game one for them to have a shot? Yes, 100%. They got to come out hot. They got to shock the Jaguars because if the Jaguars get that confidence, there's no going back. There you go. You heard it here. Now, Max, I heard from a little birdie. You want to try your hand to play by play today, brother. So as we get the teams to join in, how about you lead us into this one? All right, here we are starting off in game one of the double A grand finals. We've got Klopp and Moss on kickoff here. Here we are. Klopp wins the kickoff going right. Sunny D's up. Misses it there, but timed in there quick. Puts it to the sidewall. He might be going for a solo play here. Hits it off the sidewall. Little bit awkward in the corner. Someone's got to go quick. bob has got it centered. No one's there to shoot. Timed in. He's going to try and center it here again. Again, no shooter for the Jaguars. What have you seen so far, Dad? Yeah, I mean, already on offense right of the Jags. We expected that out of this team, a team who has consistently dominated and worked together. But... They didn't really cover each other, and that double commit is dangerous. as relax as a free goal, but he misses it. That's a crucial miss early. You're not going to get many of those if you're the Avalanche. But then he fakes timed in, still can't score it. And we talked about last game, the Heat. They weren't able to find the goals in those clutch moments that were given to them. Jaguars, they were shaky there, but the Avalanche, their own worst enemy, that could be big on their mental. Yeah, and I think it's just nerves from both of these teams. I mean, you saw it early from the Jaguars as Moss puts a good shot on there. Um, it was positional things. And then for the Avalanche there, they just didn't hit the ball right. But getting into it, Avalanche on offense. Moss puts it mid. But Klopp passes Sonny. He's not there. Rexy, it's a one on or two on one here, but time gets the clear into the corner. Rexy shot on net. Great save from timed in. And the Avalanche keep pressure here. There's Relax keeping it in. But off the sidewall and Klopp gets a good clear. Free shot here. Great save by timed in again. It's been a little bit of ping ponging so far. Do you think that'll be indicative of these early games? Yeah, I mean, like you said, right? Nerves come out. Both teams sort of feeling each other out, right? It's been a long time since these two teams played each other last, but I've been pleasantly surprised by the amount of offense that we've seen out of the Avalanche. Now, they have not gotten it done quite yet. It's a great shot. does come in on the other end for timed in. Klopp, of course, not able to find that one, but they have looked really good on the offensive pressure, and it feels like the Jaguars are being put on notice. Like, hey, these Avalanche are here to play. Yeah, and thank goodness for timed in if you're a Jaguar fan. He's been everywhere so far on defense, just saving the Jaguars butts when they get overcommitted on offense. And here he is again, but Relax gets the clear. Sonny D on offense. He puts it mid, trying to go again. Plop is there, puts it mid, but timed in, turns away. He keeps the ball in, but there's Rexy again as third. Plop gets a couple demos there. The ball's mid. Sonny D taking a shot. Great save by Moss. Plop going in again. Gets a 50 out, but Rex gets a clear. Timed in, takes a shot. It's a little bit high. Sonny D's coming in. Moss gets the great clear center. That might be in. There it is. One nothing Avalanche. Timed in has been strong for this team. Alt match long, but they're a little too far out of position, right? Not rotated into his third man. Sort of clop in the midfield. Sort of as an awkward second man. Miscommunication comes out there from the Jags. And the Avalanche, you know, you said they need a game one. Now we're only halfway through here, but that is a really good start for this team. Yeah, they're looking really good. This is not the avalanche that we've known so far this season. I think the Jaguars might be a little bit shocked here. There's Relax putting the ball in the corner. Timed in, gets the clear out. But Moss is there quick. Puts it in. Klopp, what a save there. Sonny D's right on it. He's trying to get this around the avalanche defense. Leaves it for timed in, but a missed touch there. He gets the dunk. Klopp can get there. Oh, what a bump from the avalanche side there. Timed in can cut this off here. He puts it mid. He can go again. Pops it. Klopp's there for the shot. What a shot, top right. I mean, Jaguars are right back at it. That was some really good recovery there. Yeah, timed in, able to beat two, pop it over on Lax, and Klopp is there to bury it. You know, timed in, as you said, it's sort of been that guy who's having to do everything right now for this Jaguars team, but it is only game one. And with two minutes left, this is anyone's ball game. Sonny D wins the kickoff there, puts it in the corner. Moss is a little bit awkward. Sonny D puts the ball mid. We might see another goal here, but Relax gets the ball in the corner. Klopp is trying to keep it in here. He puts it mid. Can he get another touch? No. Relax is there. Rexy slowing the ball down in midfield, but pops it up right to timed in. Jaguars are back on offense. He puts it mid, but Relax is there. Slows the ball down. Great uh, demo by time. Sunny D takes a shot just off, and then Rexy barely gets the clear. Rexy gets the bump, though. 
Avalanche have a one-on-one. -on -one. Unable to put it in. Sonny gets the ball uh, outside. What are you seeing so far after that tied-up goal by Klopp? Yeah, I mean, first of all, for this Avalanche team, they're the only worst enemy right now. It's Klopp with a great shot, but a little too far and wide. They keep getting these one-on-one -on -one situations right on the goalpost of the Jaguars, and they do not finish them. They constantly make a little mistouch. You can tell the panic is there. And again, you know, the Jaguars have been giving up more mistakes than we had thought, but it's not going to happen forever as both of these teams get more comfortable in the series, and that's an open net. It's timed in. We'll uh, secure that goal for his team. True Sonny D probably letting him hear it in the voice comms. And the Jaguars will find their first lead of this series and of this game. But as I was saying, right, not going to get done on the offense for the Avalanche. Their own worst enemy right now, and they have got to pick that up if they want to maintain any kind of lead in this series. Yeah, and this is the, we're seeing the Jaguars we know and love. I mean, they're really aggressive. They're keeping the ball on offense, and they're wearing down the Avalanche even when they're on offense because they're all low boost on that possession. That's why Time didn't have the wide open shot. But here's Relax pushing the ball downfield dangerous but Klopp's gonna be there for the clear a little bit of a missed touch Moss might be able to dunk this it's mid all the two misses <laughs> and then what a demo by Klopp saving everybody there time didn't can get there quick but relax gets it by him he's slowing it down maybe going for a bump here but Sunny D gets a great clear Jaguars back on offense can Klopp get there for the dunk he can't but he gets the demo relax is there really good job he's gonna put it mid here he flicks it over one can he get the shot on? What a shot from Relax to tie the game up. Two to two, 12 seconds to go. It's a big one. But again, we see the whiff Rooney pizza with extra sauce come out there from Saucy. Relax has to get to his own pass and score. Now that throws Sonny D off and it allows that to go in. But again, right, the Avalanche, they're all over the place. They've got to calm down. The Jaguars, they have to start challenging those. They're letting these shots come on before they try to make the save. And that's just not going to work against a team like the Avalanche. Yeah, and I think that's what the Avalanche are going to need out of the Jaguars if they want to win this series. But here we are, one second left. Klopp gets the clear. Jaguars might have a chance here if Time Dink can get under this. He pops it, but Relax gets the 50. Going into OT of game one, we're starting off hot. We are indeed big OT. Who will take game one and start deciding this series? Will it be the Jaguars, or will it be these feisty Avalanche players who have come out ready to find a grand finals victory? Moss puts it mid. Relax, unable to get the shot there. Ball's floating in the corner. Jaguars back on offense. Sonny D clears it. Allows the ball to go mid. Moss takes a shot. Times in there is there for the save. Klopp might get there, but double commit there from the Avalanche. Jaguars are going to be back on offense. Sonny D slows this one down. He's controlling it. Gets it around two. Time in's going to have possession here, but he doesn't have any boost. Can he get a good 50? He does. He follows it again, but Rexy's there for the clear. Klopp keeps the ball on offense, but Relax gets it out mid. Sonny might have a shot here. He puts it on. Great save by Moss. Klopp turns. What a great 50 there. What, what are you thinking about this OT so far, Dad? Yeah, I mean, both teams sort of back and forth. As you said, the Jaguars had a hint there, but it was a great pre-read from Relax. This is dangerous, though. Open net, but Sonny D was out of boost and unable to catch up to that one. The longer this goes on, the more it feels like the Avalanche are getting comfortable in this OT. The Jaguars need to find something here. And this might be it. Klopp looking for the double off the ceiling. Close. The timed in. Slows the ball down there. Sonny D has it on offense. There's only one more on the Avalanche side, but Rexy puts it to the sidewall. Rexy gets it over timed in. It's just Klopp back here. This is dangerous, but Klopp gets a great clear. He's following it, but Relax gets it around him. Avalanche are back on offense, but Sonny D gets a great... Oh my goodness. Klopp going. gets a great touch out mid. And Rexy and with the miss. Mid. Oh no, oh no, and the doink prevails. A great touch from Klopp, beats two, and Rexy can't tell if Sonny D will get there on time, tries to read him, and fails in game one. Though the Avalanche had so much momentum, will go to the Jaguars, the start you probably expected, Max, but you know, when we saw that sort of come out, the Avalanche felt like they were on top most of that game. You look at the shot totals, right? 10 for the Avalanche. Eight, nine for the Jaguars as I do the quick math in my mind there but the Jaguars didn't feel like they were on offense that much the Avalanche never able to capitalize what do you think was the major roadblock for that team in finishing those goals on the goal line I think they were playing really aggressive but they were a little bit out of their means they were a little bit overextending they were losing their rotation just enough so that maybe they didn't have enough boost so they were turned the wrong direction um, but that was dangerous out of the Avalanche if the Jaguars keep playing like they do it might not be looking good for them for the rest of the series because the Avalanche had a lot of good opportunities that they didn't capitalize on. If they start capitalizing on those, they're going to win some games.
They are indeed. And, you know, you, uh, one other thing I'd like to see that, that we sort of didn't see here from this Jaguars team is, you know, we saw flashes of offense, but never true offensive possession. They oftentimes would move it downfield and then give the ball away, right? They weren't playing around with it, didn't, weren't confident in their one-on-ones. I'd like to see more of that one-on-one gameplay from this Jaguars team if they want to maintain these leads and not keep the scoreline as close as game one. And here we are going into game two. We're going to have Klopp and Moss again on the kickoff, squaring off just like they did in Gen Chat. But here it is, Klopp, he gets the win. Sunny D gets the dunk over Relax, but Rex is there quick. This is dangerous for the Avalanche. But Klopp gets the clear mid. Moss is still there, takes the shot on net, but Sonny's there to get the save. Dangerous there from Moss, but timed in again, saving the Jaguars. Falls mid, gets it around one, but, oh, Moss, what a touch to get it mid, but it looks like timed in's going to be there. Rexy might be able to take a shot here, but he is unable to. Relax, keeps the ball in. I I'm noticing the the gameplay is making a little more a little bit more sense from both sides. Would you agree, Dead? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's to be expected, right? As you go further and further into the Grand Finals matchup, the nerves start to wear off, and you know it's all business. Those might pick back up again with missed touches like that from Moss, but another one does come through from time. And still, Klopp will end up securing this goal, and, you know, shots like this, missed touches, they're going to keep coming out from this Avalanche team. The more you feel like that the Jaguars move on to offense, that's a big mistake early. Yeah, and it's looking like almost all of the goals in the series are off mistakes by one side. Hopefully we're going to see a little bit more good plays from sides that lead to goal, but if it keeps happening, it's looking good for the Jaguars. Um, Klopp gets the ball mid. Sonny tries to pop it on net, but Moss gets the touch in the corner. Sonny D keeps the ball dangerous, but Relax gets it over one. Time and unable to get the touch there. Now Rexy has it. One man to beat on net. Passes it to Moss, but he's not ready for the pass. Steals the Jaguars boost. Uh, but there's a good clear from the Jaguars. Relax going to try and keep this away from net, but he's taking it mid. So in my, um, oh my goodness. Um, no, oh, no. Oh, my. Okay, well, guys, let's put that in the uh, SEC not top 10 plays of the week. Okay, Relax loses possession of this and then blocks the save from Saucy. Big misplay comes out there from Relax. And you have to wonder what the comms are like here for the Avalanche. I don't think I need to wonder too much. I think I can see clearly what they are. And timed in, take another shot, 3 nothing Jaguars. The Avalanche have got to change something. Yeah, big vibes coming out from the Jaguars. I bet they are rolling right now in chat. They're certainly rolling on the field. It's a great shot. A good team play. The Avalanche, they've got to calm down and recenter themselves. They still have three and a half minutes left in this game to get back into it. By no means out of game two, but it's got to start here soon. And it's not looking good for them. The Jaguars are coming off hot again with another kickoff win. Timed in, slow touch in the corner. He gets another, gets around two, but relaxes there to get the clear. Klopp gets it around one. Just Rexy and, and Moss in net. Oh, looking for the double tap. So close there. But timed in on offense again. Passes to Sonny. Back to time, but Moss gets it clear. Sonny again keeps in, keeps the ball in, but no second man for the Jaguars. That would have been a prime opportunity to take the lead to four. You know, you said that the Avalanche had to win game one for them to come out strong and have a shot in the series as timed in will bury another one. Now four. Oh, the, the score line in two minutes of gameplay, though, it has felt like much more. Still three minutes to go. You said they had to win game one, and I think you're seeing the reason why, right? They look uncomfortable. The Avalanche, they've lost their confidence. They haven't been on offense all game long. It was something they did very well in game one, paying for it here. And as we're getting into this, I just wanted to give credit to Klopp's touch there. That was a very unique touch. It was a pre-flip in midair to get that touch around two players. Um, Klopp's touch is really unique so far in this series, and I think he really has been the X Factor for the Jaguars. But he puts it mid again to timed in. Great, good defense there by the Avalanche. Sunny D fails to put it in, but Klopp is going to keep the ball in here for the... No, Relax gets a beat. Looking for the double, unable to get it, but timed in. Another great clear. Moss keeps the ball in, but timed in has possession. He puts it mid. Sunny D is there. He hits it off the corner. Relax pops it out to timed in. Puts it out mid. Can Klopp get a shot? No, he turns off. Controls the ball into the sidewall. Gets bumped there by Moss. And then he slows the ball. Relax gets it around. Sunny D, great clear mid. If you're the Jaguars in these last two minutes, what do you have to do here, Dad? Well, I mean, all you got to do is hold, right? And they're doing so phenomenally. 
you know, you had done a good job of keeping the Avalanche from the offense. Here, the Avalanche are finally moving up. But you see sort of the Jaguars just rotating through now a team bump there, but a great save from time to end. But you see those defensive rotations, something the Avalanche have struggled with coming through clutch for the Jaguars. All you got to do is hold because the more time you burn off this clock with those banger clears and stuff like that, the less you have to worry about from the Avalanche. Yeah, I agree. Um, and another big thing is both teams are making mistakes in this game. Um, there's a lot of whiffs from both sides, a lot of failed rotations, but the Jaguars are just making more good plays. And I think that's been a key difference so far. As Sunny D puts in the corner, gets the double, clops there, back out to Sunny D, but Moss is there for the save. Rexy takes out the sidewall, but timed in challenging. He gets the 50 mid, and this might be another shot for the Jaguars. No, Moss gets the clear. He, Rexy with another clear out of the sidewall, but it's the three Jaguars players. Sunny D sends it right back. Jaguars on offense again. This has been a continuous theme throughout this game. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, this, this game has sort of fluctuated in two different ways, right? From game one, the Avalanche's offense was strong, and moving into this one, they've barely been there. Now, they have transitioned in the back half, but a miss there. The story of the Avalanche's life here in game two, mistakes on the defensive end. Uh, just uncontested whiff for Malax. Scoreline now 5-0. And, you know, let me throw it back to you here, Max. If you're the Avalanche, you get beat, let's say, 5-0. Nobody scores the rest of this game here in game two. You're down two in a best of seven series. How do you reset your mental to get back into this one? I would say just relax. I mean, they're making the game really hard on themselves. Like, relax. You did not need to jump there. Rexy, you did not need to jump that early. They're just making the game really hard on themselves, taking bad angles on the ball, and they're failing because of that. Relax gets it by timed in there. Um, I just think they need to settle down. But great shot by Relax there. Make it 5-1. Give them a little bit of confidence into the next game. Yeah, as you said, momentum huge. A great pinch off the ground there to go over timed in who didn't quite read that one. Possibly a momentum builder. Though still, obviously, maybe looking for one or two more with 30 seconds left here in game two. And you presumably, the Jaguars will go up 2-0 in the series. They themselves probably not too worried. And that's the thing about this Jaguars team. You know, knowing them personally, knowing these players, they'll never get tilted. Even if they were to lose a game, that's not something you can rely on if you're the Avalanche. But you know what you can rely on? The big bump plays coming out from the Jags to open this up and make it 6-1. Potentially having a Brazil here in game two. Yeah, and that's just Klopp again making really good plays. Him and Sonny D have done a great job at supporting time and giving him free shots on that. And here's Sonny D and Rexy on the kickoff. Klopp sends it out mid, gets the dunk off of Rexy. He puts it mid again. Relax is unable to get it. Timed in another shot for the Klopp first Klopp right. wow. had to, You know, I had to say it. Had to be said. You know what I'm saying. But uh, as Klopp will bury this for the Brazil. Well, timed will. Klopp two-timed, excuse me, will bury this for the Brazil. And... That's rough, right? Grand Finals on street, best of seven, and you get brazil in game number two. The Avalanche, they're going to have to dig deep, find their willpower, and get back into this series. Still plenty of time for them to do so, as it is a best of seven. As time ticks down, Jaguars up 2-0 in the series. Yeah, and as this game comes to a close, obviously Brazil there. That's not good for the Avalanche, but... I mean, I think we've seen the Jaguars are just the better team right now. So if I'm the Avalanche, would you need to start doing something unique. You need to start confusing the Jaguars. And another thing I've noticed, they've lost almost every single kickoff. Maybe start delaying them, doing some fakes, something of that nature. Because in the basic facets, the fundamentals, they're getting dominated right now. They are indeed. And that's, again, you know, we talked about a game one, the Jaguars, right? They looked a little uncomfortable this game. They came out firing on all cylinders. And, you know... That's off the back of Timed In, who has been my MVP already just through the first two games. There are five goals, but not just that. He's been there all over the field for his team. The Avalanche, they looked much better at game one, where they still had all of their confidence. And I do think if, if you're not going to change things up, as you said, throw something unique in there, try to get, you know, fakes or demo play come out. Find that confidence of game one. Get yourself back on the offensive half, because this game, it felt like they only had about a minute of total offense, and that is not going to win you any game against a team as good as the Jaguars. But we're going to have to find out in Game 3, do the Avalanche have what it takes to bring themselves back into it, or are we going to see a match point come through for the Jaguars? I think we can. I think we can see the Avalanche. But like I said, they just have to settle down, control the ball, play slow, because right now the Jaguars are just playing fast, they're dominating, and the Avalanche are getting uncomfortable. So they got to switch something up here. Um, but we're getting started in Game 3 with Rexy and Klopp on kickoff. Here we go. 
Klopp gets the kickoff by Rex. He perhaps a fake there. Relax has possession, but unable to find the double. Moss gets there quick. Oh. He's got a solo play here. He pops it up. Oh, just missed. Can Rexy finish it? He cannot. See, that's the type of things we need to see from the Avalanche. Obviously, they didn't finish it, but it was close. What do you think, Dad? I mean, it was, but that's where Rexy has to be there earlier. He's a second man, knows he has his third man player far enough back that he's still getting boost, so he can go. He can afford to be aggressive. Moss beat all three defenders on his own, but nobody was there to clean it up and allowed Klopp to get back in there. And again, you know, we talked about game one, this Avalanche team got it to the goal line, but couldn't get it that extra half centimeter to score those problems plaguing them once again to start game three. And here we are, Rexy gets the ball out mid. Still tied 0-0, Klopp zero. Klopp puts it mid. Chop from Sunny D just wide. Moss is gonna control this, but Klopp beats him. It's open mid, but Rexy gets the great clear over Sunny D. Timed in again, he's looking for the double tap, but Rexy's on backboard and gets the clear. Moss looking for the clear again, 50's mid, but no one's there for the Jaguars. Relax is gonna control this. He bangs it out mid, but it's a little bit too high. Sonny's going to beat. That's on target if Rexy can't get there, and it's in. And Rexy does not even jump. Now, I don't think he had boost, but you still need to jump for this one or do the trot special and go for the squishy there. Either way, just watches it float in. The Jaguars carrying that momentum of the last game up 1-0 to start us early. Yeah, and here we are again. Rexy and Sonny D on kickoff. It goes to the right. Moss is going to get there early. That's going to bounce, but no one mid from the Jaguars, and Tiny gets a great pinch clear. Rexy gets demo there, but Sunny D is going to control it in the corner. Oh, he gets a miss there. Moss can get there quick, but a great bump from the Jaguars' side. Timed in, has possession. He puts it downfield. Sunny D gets past two. This is dangerous, but Rexy clears the ball to the corner. Cloth is going to try and keep this in. He does. It bounces up, but relaxes there for the clear. What have you seen so far after that goal? Have you, has anything changed for the Avalanche? I mean, you know, I like the aggression from the Avalanche. It's a great flick from Moss, but a better save from Sunny D. The problem is sort of illustrated right there, actually, right? Moss beats two, gets it there. Now, it's an incredible save from Sunny D, but where is the Avalanche follow-up? They're both in a second-man rotation position. Neither shows up for the second shot. And the Avalanche, they have got to learn to put more than one shot at a time on net. They're not challenging this Jaguars defense after the first one. They're a one-and-done kind of team. It is not working for them. They've got to figure it out. And that would work. These have been some great shots from the Avalanche, but the backline saves from the Jaguars have been downright incredible so far. The Moss controls the ball here. He's got another chance. He 50s it. Second man is there. But unfortunately, uh, the 50 is really good for the Jaguars, and time then gets the clear. They're back on offense. Time goes again. A 50 into the corner. Someone's got to get there quick for the Jaguars as Rexy gets the clear over two. But third man's there. Sonny sends the ball to the corner. He gets another touch. It's falling mid, but Relax is going to be there for the clear. Unfortunately, it's right to Time Den, who puts it mid again. And then Klopp's going to turn on this, keep the ball in, but a great dunk there from the Avalanche side. The pressure from the Jaguars in this last minute has just been really just threatening for the avalanche what do you think dad yeah i mean the avalanche they've looked better but the jaguars sort of don't look phased in this game they're very comfortable going onto their back end keeping this one goal lead popping it up field throwing a little bit of offense into, into the works and that's some great offense comes through their clock not able to find the friendly bounce however as moss will transition in and the avalanche you know they just can't maintain their offense and if they can't find a way to do so it's not likely they get back into this game as an open net. Moss not able to get there. Once again, timed in the offensive wizard. Buries this one in a 2-0 lead for the Jaguars here in game three. And that's what it is. It's the second man. I mean, you get that good shot on net. You force the Avalanche to overcommit. No one's in net, and timed in is there to score. And on the Avalanche side, they're just not. That's the key difference we're seeing here. But Moss and timed in on kickoff. Moss, get, Moss gets a win here, but Sunny D is there quick and gets the ball back on their half. Looking for the double, but... Rexy gets the clear. Klopp's going to keep it in here. Gets it around one, but relaxes there. Sunny D pops at mid. Unfortunately, the Jaguars overcommitted a little bit there. That's dangerous. And Klopp almost puts it on net, but it goes high. It works out. He gets past two. Can he get past another? No, Rexy's there. Relax. Relax puts it mid, but no one's there to shoot. I mean, it's just time and time again. They're just not changing it. What, what do you think, Dev? What has to change for them? Uh, communication. Seems like it's not on point for this Avalanche team. It's sort of like they throw the first man up there. He beats two, and the rest of his team doesn't understand that, that he's doing anything, right? There's an, oh, you were going to flick it? I didn't know that. And nobody shows up to finish the play. Communication has to pick up, and the confidence level 
You're already down. You're playing for your lives. Just go for it. Who cares if you get beat on the back end and make a mistake? At least you have something going for you. You're down by two goals. Three isn't going to make that much more of a difference at this point. You've got to find some confidence and get that communication on point to score these goals. And, and even worse than that, it's not even like they're playing super far back. They have like two, two and a half men playing. It's not, they don't have a second and a third. So no one's there to shoot and then no one's there to save the clear from the Jaguars. It's, it's just bad rotations and like you said, bad communication. And as we're getting to it, seven seconds left, it's not looking good for the Avalanche. It's looking like it's gonna be 3-0 for the Jaguars. Jaguars, they look strong, they look confident. They were able to sort of transition their momentum up and down the field. They were like, okay, we'll live on defense for a while, then immediately pop downfield to the offense. They've looked like a solid team, the Avalanche. Looking rusty, looking nervous. And you, now on match point for the Jaguars, it is do or die. Your grand final life is on the line for the Avalanche. As we said, right, second man rotation has got to step up. But beyond that, they have won their one-on-one -on -one plays, right, moving forward. So, you know, maybe take more advantage of that. You've seen some demos come out from the Jaguars that looked good. Maybe the Avalanche could try to incorporate something like that. But at this point, it's got to be no holds barred Rocket League, the Avalanche. It is, as I said before, I mean, it is do or die for them here. Yeah, and as we're heading into game four, Avalanche, as we've been saying over and over, they just got to do something new because whatever they're doing right now is just not working. It's not. And, you know, you're looking for a star player to stand out. I think timed in this series has, you know, we talked about how the Jaguars across the board, they're good players on this team. But in this series alone, timed in has stepped up beautifully for his team. Who is going to be the one on the avalanche that carries these guys over the finish line? Let's try to find out here at the start of game four. We're going to have Rexy and it looks like timed in on the kickoff here as we're approaching the start of this game little bit of delay going in but here we are getting our getting our start in the game timed in rexy on kickoff the ball goes to the jaguar sides but sunny d's there quick he rolls up the sidewall but no one's there for the jaguars but sunny d somehow gets the touch timed in has possession for the jaguars here can rexy get there quick enough he can he gets the clear but clops there puts it up moss gets the touch to the corner but unfortunately it's right to clap who takes a shot on net and that rolls in the net what do you think, Dan? It's not looking good. It's not. It's it's a great shot, though, angle from Klopp, Klopp, right? I mean, Moss makes the save, makes that touch out of the corner, and Klopp's just like, it doesn't matter what angle you give to me. I will bury this one. And, and like you said, Avalanche, not the start they wanted, but a great start for the Jaguars to close it out here in four. Good 50 mid. Timed in, takes the shot. Good. Good save but by Rexy. Sunny D keeps possession, though. He puts it mid, but it's a little bit too high. Relax is going to have possession, but he... Puts the ball downfield right to timed in. And he gets past one. He's going to pass the clock here. It's a little bit behind, but he pops it up. Timed in gets the shot, but Relax gets a great save by being back post. Clop oh, no. gets the dunk there. Raxi with a good save. Good job staying back. Sunny D, unfortunate there, but he puts the ball mid nonetheless. But Relax gets the good save. Moss might be able to beat this here, and he does. He gets it out mid, but unfortunately, Relax miss jumps. And Sunny D gets the clear, and almost no one's back for the avalanche. But Moss it does get there. And relax, great save. That would have been a goal by Sunny D there. It looks like the Avalanche are on their heels right now, despite the score only being one nothing. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, I mean they're they're playing very ping pong gameplay, which goes to benefit the Jaguars. We talked about how this Avalanche team has looked good in their one on one dribble rotations. Not doing any of that here, though. A big miss now. Opportunity for Moss. Great 50 from timed in to let his team rotate back on the defense. But the bump again from Moss makes this a dangerous defensive rotation. Still, though, Jaguars will escape danger. And as I said, right, if you're a team who values the one-on-one -on -one dribble plays, just banging the ball downfield to this Jaguars team is not a recipe for success. No, it is not. And here's Klopp. He flicks it mid. Timed in. Almost able to get there with the double tap. So close. But Relax gets the clear. Sunny D right back on it, though. Relax putting it mid again, but he, this time he gets the touch around the Jaguars. Pops it over. No, Klopp gets there. He gets it into the corner. Rexy puts it mid, and a little bit of a double commit there. The net's open, but Sunny D is unable to growl that one. Klopp drops it mid. No one's back for the Jaguars, but that shot is just off as Timed In puts it into the corner. Relax is going to take a shot here, but Timed In's there to challenge. Ball drops down mid. 
and Klopp gets the clear back to the side. Oh Great my. demo. Oh my no! Fortunate miss there from the Avalanche. What are you seeing, Dad? I mean, everything goes right except for the shot. Both teams little too high on the goal, hoping it grows a few inches. Maybe give it some milk and get it up there. You know, it was a great demo from Klopp. Doesn't turn into a goal. It sort of paying the favor for the Avalanche, who have done much the same all series. I mean, that's a great fake from Klopp. Klopp coming alive in this game. Though the scoreboard only reflects a 1-0. Again, we see top crossbar, best defender of the universe. These teams have got to get that shot placement on point. They definitely do, but thankfully the Jaguars at least got one in this series. And oh. they have the lead, but relax. The ball drops down right mid in a great shot. Nice job being there, second man. Avalanche tied up one more. Yeah, Klopp gives the ball to Moss, who reads it beautifully and relaxes there to finish it. That is what we were talking about. Having that second man commit on these offensive challenges is crucial. A great tying goal, and the first time in quite a few minutes of Rocket League have we seen some life come out of the Avalanche. Here we are, but Sonny back on offense for the Jaguars. Gets it around one, but timed in is there. He keeps it in, but Moss is going to get the good clear. A little bit of a double commit. Klopp gets it around one. Can he get another touch? Almost there. Moss is awkward though in the corner. Klopp gets a bump on Moss. Looking like game one again here with the awkwardness, but timed in. Finally gets it around one. The great catch by, by Sonny. Oh, Moss gets it clear. That would have been a great pass if um, timed in was able to finish that one. But he puts yeah, it to the side. Second. Uh, timed in. Controlling the ball in the corner. Can he get it mid? No, he can't. What are you seeing, Dad? It looks like the Jaguars aren't the same after they let that goal up. Yeah, I mean, they're not a team that's used to playing, not even from behind, but equal, right? They've sort of been firing on all cylinders, and it is, there is some element of, I'm up 3-0, it doesn't matter if I drop this one, the next one, or the next one, right? So they need to find their, their seriousness, their nerves, as you see here, timed in, going for the aerial ballerina play, but not able to connect. So you just want to get back to fundamental Rocket League and close the series out here, because the Avalanche are not a team you want to leave on the board to give them time to figure out their game plan. Yeah, and like you said, the Jaguars, you're up the real, but you got to keep playing. You've proven that you're better. It's not the time to prove that you're not. But Klopp with the fake there, he flicks a high. Is there a second man to shoot? Sonny D gets it around one, but Relax is going to be there for the clear. Ball still mid, though. Sonny, Rexy gets the ball in the corner. Moss touches it out mid. This might be a shot. Touch, touch. Klopp! Klopp forgot that the parking brake was on and doesn't commit. This is dangerous the other way. Relax. Can't find the goal again. Symbolic of the Avalanche offense. So is that one from Moss. The man shoots it round the world and back. But this Avalanche team cannot find the back of the net. Great job by Klopp there on the backboard. Getting the ball out. That was dangerous. That, and that was really just heartbreaking. But two seconds left before OT. Can one team get a goal here in this game? No, they cannot. We're going in overtime game four. This is dangerous for the Jaguars. The Avalanche have them on their heels. Relax, Klopp on kickoff, gets it past one, but Moss is there. Takes the shot on net, can time to get the save, he does, into the corner. Rexy here, puts the ball mid, this is going to pop high. Can someone beat a double commit from the Jaguars? Time in has to go quick, and he does. Great, goal, game-saving touch there. He's going to go in, he gets the beat mid, but no one there from the Jaguars. Mo Moss puts it into the corner, but Klopp is there, controls the ball. A little bit of a bump, what are you seeing so far in this OT? So far, dead. I mean, the longer this goes on, the more it favors the Avalanche. A great demo there. Opportunity for Moss, though, gives the ball to Klopp. The, the longer this goes on, the more it feels like it favors the Avalanche. But the Jaguars, I mean, they've sort of been hunting for, for the goal, for the pass even, not able to find anything. You can tell the Avalanche know that their lives are on the line here. Yeah, and I mean, on both sides of this game, a lot of chances have been very close. They've had chances to end the game, but they just haven't gone in. So I... I don't know. This is looking like a really close one. I think it is going to go to a game four as Rexy puts it mid, but timed in gets the clear out. Moss is probably going to be able to corral this one. He does. He takes it. One on two here. Rexy has to turn quick. Gets it around one, but a great demo by Klopp. Sunny D drops it down. Klopp gets a touch mid, but Sunny D is unable to get up. Timed in. Barely misses that shot there. It's yeah, off minute. the corner. Yeah, minute 20 seconds here into the OT as I see. Our timer is broken on the stream. I do apologize for the overlay. But as I said, right, Avalanche starting to find the rhythm. A great opportunity here, but relax. Again, the man has not been able to sink it on these open nets when he's given it to him. And if they lose here in this OT, you have to look at relaxes shots. Yeah, and I mean, I just can't help but looking back to that goal in game two where he just 
pretty much own goals for his team. Um, relax, he's going to be the guy to end the game for them, I think, by win or lose. So hopefully for the Avalanche, it's win. And he gets it past one shot on net, but Timden is there for the save. Going the other way are the Jags. Opportunity abound. Timed in. Trying to set it up, but gets bumped off a great touch from Rexy Klopp. Not quite able to corral that. And Sony D will pop this in. Or does he have a teammate there? Yes, timed in. And timed in will find the bottom left corner. Showing the avalanche how it's done. And in four, the Jaguars will secure the double A grand final championship. Great job, Jaguars. My prediction was wrong. I thought it was going to be 4-2. But, I mean, the Jaguars were just significantly more dominant this series they dominated in every facet and despite making mistakes they made some really amazing plays to make up for it and um all of the players were incredible today despite sunny d hitting crossbar a bunch of times he was really valuable as that third man Klopp got a lot of unique touches and created a lot of great offensive pressure for the jaguars and time didn't close them out on offense and defense yeah, Jaguars bet on every facet of the ball that really felt like the only game the avalanche could have taken was game one even in game one and in game four, however, their their shot accuracy is going to be called into question. And that is something in the offseason they're going to have to work on time and time again. They had it. They were there. They were going to beat the Jaguars. And then they just shot.